guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Just back out here in the garage tonight. Peace. Go study history and science. Back out here in the garage tonight to uh, finish lowering the rear end of the truck. I wanted to show you kind of, I, I went ahead, I did get the, uh, and took the, uh, the rear brake drums back. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the old ones. Um, did get the old bearings and races out. I've got the race installed on the passenger side here. And then what I did on the back side was I just ran a drum sander over it because these there was no ribs, no ridges, nothing at all. So I uh, just ran the drum sander over that to clean those up and just getting ready to put uh, pack the rear or the front bearing. I've got the rear bearing packed already and just going to go through and show you how I do it. I don't have a tool to pack those bearings. I just squeeze out a bunch of grease in my hand and then just run them through and do it that way. So I'll set you up on a tripod and show you how I do that and get this passenger side buttoned up and all done and start concentrating on the driver's side. And uh, as you can see in the background, I do, right there, I do have my engine hoist purchased. Uh, the neighbor had two of them. And remember last year we had some issues uh, about this time last year we had some issues I was working on my uh, transmission in my truck and it fell off the jack so and if I would have had that then that would have really helped me out getting that back up on the transmission jack but uh, after the fact I found out he had two of them and he goes hey you want to buy one so I said sure uh, this is hasn't been used very much at all um, you can even tell just well, okay that's a poor example but uh that's pulled out of there usually those come off anyway i don't really like this style hook i like to have an actual 3 8 hook unless you're using like an eye hook that on a traditional engine uh the where you bolt to not traditional on, on an engine where you bolt like a, a carburetor plate to pull them or something like that uh these hooks work well but uh for like pulling the engine out of the bug outside there a regular hook would probably be better but anyway going back i don't know what brand this is but uh i thought it was worth eighty dollars eighty dollars will really uh help me out to get the engine out of the bug i do have a gentleman coming wanting to pick it up on saturday so i need to get started on that and also tomorrow i'm going to be off tomorrow to try and get the engine pulled out of the bug and also I'm going to start working on the front end of my truck, working on a bumper and stuff like that, and get that tore apart and off of there. So, uh, I've got a road trip planned tomorrow evening also uh, to pick up some parts for my truck. So, I'm uh, going to have to come back tomorrow and check that out. I'm pretty stoked about uh, some changes that are coming to uh, the Cummins, and uh, I, think, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. So, you guys have to stay tuned and come back tomorrow and see what those, uh, those changes are, are. So, right now, Let's get these bearings packed and get this thing put back together. I want to try and get this back end sitting on the ground tonight so we can get a good idea on what the rake actually is at three inches of drop in the rear. So, All right, the way I pack my bearings, like I said, I get some grease in the palm of my hand right here like this, and I just start running through, and I'll turn a little bit and force the grease up in there. I do this on both sides. And each time I do it, I turn it just a little bit. Then I'll turn it over and do the same thing on this side. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this edge of the bearing and slicing that grease and forcing it in this little crack right here to uh, force all that grease up and through all these little bearings, the, the needle bearings, and uh, that way we're good to go. So that one there is full. You can see how it's squeezing out there and squeezing out there, all over the place. Now I just gotta take and put that back in the tube and uh, we'll get the drum put back on this side.
All right, that side is back together. We should be good to go. Put the dust cap on it, just like on a trailer, and uh, we'll start on the passenger side. All right, I got the passenger, or the driver drum off, and I do have the races and the bearings out, all the seals out. These bearings I bought are pretty nice. This is old new stock from uh, up there in Michigan from a place called the, I think it's called Parts Place actually. It's a Volkswagen enthusiast shop. Uh, it comes with bearings and races. When I say it's old new stock, these are the boxes they come in. Um, I'll put a link in the description for their website. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, they have a lot, a lot of original parts. But to put these races in, just drop them in place. Grab a, I use a socket for my driver. Because I don't have a press. And then just make sure it's down all the way and good to go. Then I just need to pack this bearing. I'm going to put both races in first and then pack the bearings and then uh, this will be ready to go. I'll just need to go put the brakes in that side. Just like downtown. All right, we pretty much have everything buttoned up, got everything back together, uh, driver's side is together, drop plates on there, uh, razor plate, whatever we'll call it. I need to get the brakes bled and put the tires on it and we're gonna get this on the ground and see what it looks like. So these plates, once again, are from uh, CKW2. Uh, Greg Zorn makes these. He's on Facebook, Instagram. You can check out his stuff. He's got a lot of nice parts on there. Uh, I picked these up there. My other parts are coming from Fast Bunny. Hey, Johnny, if you wanna pump the, uh, Brakes up here in the back and hold them. Okay, let off. Pump them again. Okay, hold them. All right, we got the brakes bled. Everything's back together, so let's get this jacked up and get it on the ground and see what it looks like. As you guys saw as I lowered it down, it is sitting really, really low in the back. It's got a pretty nice rake to it. Still got to get the front end done. Uh, that's where the race lens come into play. Uh, it's really, I mean, you just, uh, it's like mid thigh height now. So pretty cool. Um, I'm liking it more and more every time we do something to it. But, uh, very satisfied, very pleased with uh, the way it's sitting thus far. I almost want to leave the front end the way it is and just leave it uh, sit kind of raked like that. But um, I know. I got uh, the Raceland coilovers. But these are adjustable. I mean, I could put these in there and leave it set like this. I, I dropped it. My plan is to drop it three inches in the rear and two inches in the front. So it's not going to go down a whole lot in the front. Um, you know, like I had showed you before. These race lens are adjustable by the amount of preload you put on the spring itself. So um, that will really uh, make a big difference on ride. And then also I have the strut cups coming. That's supposed to give it basically the ride um, 
as it would be from the factory with having just the factory coilovers up front there. So um, I have ball joints for the front. I have all new bushings for the uh, the lower arms. Um, I got the brakes over there for the front and rotors. I hope they're the same. And we have a couple of other things to put on yet, but for right now, um, hopefully, maybe Saturday. Um, been talking with a guy about some tires and wheels for this too, so I'm hoping that I can get those picked up and possibly be done with this project and just drive it for a little bit. I'd like to do a little bit with the interior. Um, not certain, but uh, right now it's sitting pretty good, pretty happy with it. Anyway, guys. That's pretty much all I have. It is like 10.30 at night, so I am going to go in, wash up, and go to bed. Uh, like I said, I'm off tomorrow from work. I will be out in the driveway bright and shiny early morning to get the motor pulled out of the bug and then also start tearing the front of my truck apart. This caddy is drivable now, so uh, maybe I'll just park the truck, the Cummins, and uh, start driving the caddy for a little while. Don't know, I haven't decided yet. So anyway guys, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already done so. Talk to you later on, bye bye.